All right, folks, sick lyricist right here. And uh, this is for all those that have been hitting me up on my DM on Instagram. And y'all been wondering how I catch fish. Y'all been seeing my posts. Y'all been seeing the fish that I catch. And you go out and fish and you can't catch anything. You know what I'm saying? And you just don't know how to set up the rig. This is for the new beginner in fishing. So I'm gonna show you how I set my rig up when I go fishing. All right? All right, so first step, this is your main line right off your, your rod here. And you wanna grab string. You wanna slide the black tube right onto your main line like this. And just slide the string off the main, off the black tube. This black tube comes out throw that away and all you're gonna do is pull both ends of the string right onto your main line there and then you're gonna cut a tag in not all the way but close to close to it just like that all right so that's step one this is your bobber stopper and it's also your deck setter okay so let's go to step two it's your B Step two, just put your bead on the main line. Step three is your slip bobber. And it has a small hole on the top, big hole on the bottom. You slide the bobber right through the main line through the small hole. All right, that was your third step there. And the bead, all the bead is there for is so that way your slip bobber doesn't get tied up in your bobber stopper. Okay. All right, so the fourth step is to tie on your hook. And I use these red hooks these are uh, size one or size two. You can use either one of those. And you can hook it up, uh, tie it, tie it up any way you want to. Uh, if you don't know how to tie a knot, you can just look it up on YouTube. You know, there's a hundred different knots you can use. I like using the clinch knot or the uni knot, so look those up. And you always want to make sure you put some saliva on your knot. You lick the line or spit on the line. And this will seal your knot. So you want to cut the tag in, but you don't want to cut it all the way, okay? leave some on. All right, so the last step is you want to put on your weight. And you want to put your weight on 
six to eight inches above your hook. This will keep your bait under the water. And I use these weights here. They have like these little wings on the back. Use some pliers. They'll snap right on, to, they'll clamp right onto your line, okay? And with this weight, I'll use two of them because with this bobber, it'll keep it straight up and down in the water, right above the water there. All right, so that was the last step there. This is how it looks. I don't know where my other weight went. Put my other weight back on. All right, so again, this is how it looks. Uh, this is your bobber stopper, and it's also your depth setter. So you see how it is here when you cast it out into the water. This bobber will come up and hit that bobber stopper, and you can see the bobber stopper and the hook. You know, it's about a good two and a half feet. Okay, so if you want to fish in deeper water, all you need to do is simply slide your string up your line, okay? So now you're in a good three feet and you can continue going up as much as you want. And that string here will come through your eye, go inside your reel so you don't have to worry about it. If you want it to be, you know, as deep as you want, it'll slide through and when you cast out, it'll come right back out, okay? So this is my rig when I when I go fishing. This is exactly how I set it up, okay? And what I'll use is uh, large night crawlers. Large night crawlers, uh, I'll put it on the hook and I'll cast out. I'll cast out at uh, different depths, you know, depending on how deep the water is. Sometimes the water's 10 feet, it could be 20, 30 feet. So you wanna go ahead and, you know, test out different depths. And uh, when I cast out, what I usually do is cast out, wait five seconds. If I don't catch one within five seconds, I'll start popping, meaning I'll start moving the uh, rod up and down. And then what that'll do is that'll cause attention uh, to fish in the area, fish in the water. And then what I'll do is I'll start reeling it in real slow. And then I'll drag it, let it go back do the same thing repeatedly all the way till I get, you know, back to the shore. Uh, most of the time, you know, if you do it that way, you'll lure them in, they'll attack it. <clears throat> and what happens is this bobber will be above the water but when the fish takes the hook, this bobber will come under the water. we will see your bobber disappear. All you need to do is set the hook, yank up on your your rod and you got them. And then just keep pressure on them and reel them in. You know, I'm successful with this setup and I catch largemouth bass, I catch smallmouth bass, I catch striper bass, I catch catfish, channel cats, uh, bullhead catfish, bluegills, uh, pretty much anything, any fish. You know what I'm saying? So, I hope this helps you out, you know, when you go fishing. If you didn't know this setup, now you know this setup, you know what I'm saying? Play the video back and follow me on Instagram at Sick Lyricist, S-I-C Lyricist. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? And uh, share the video with uh, all those that are having problems, you know what I'm saying, or beginners in fishing. And 
this will help them. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I, I've been on the side of not catching any fish when I go fishing. So I figured I'd help out my folks, help those out that have been asking for help. You know what I'm saying? And tag me in your, uh, your posts, you know what I'm saying, on Instagram at Sick Lyricist so I can see your fish, you know what I mean? And uh, the uh, pole I'm using, the rod I'm using is an ugly stick, seven foot, medium, heavy. And I'm also using a quantum reel. Uh, you can go buy these, you know, Bass Pro. And you can see it here. Yeah, it's really dope setup. You know what I'm saying? And so, hope that helped you out. I'm about to take off. Go fishing, alright? Peace.